Mark's not good enough to unseat Michael Weiss at the top. It's Weiss, Savanovic, and then Matt Savoy as the final skater. Timothy Gable takes the ice in second place after the short program, and he controls his own destiny. And, of course, the quad jump will loom large. He is the only American ever to complete it in competition. And how relaxed and laid back is this guy? He was just clapping for Triffin, who was skating right before him. Most guys are so uptight and trying to surround themselves in a bubble that they don't even notice anything around them. The music, Maladuena. And that ease of that salco nice tells you his story. Yeah. going to be an important combination for him, a triple axle, triple toe combination. Uh, oh, and an unusual one. He can do those triple axles like they're, you know, they're absolutely no trouble at all. Well, you know, Timothy Gable's been off the ice since the warm-up for over 40 minutes. It is very difficult to keep your warm-up at the, uh, off the ice at the same time, saving enough energy for once you get back on the ice. Well, if he makes this quadruple jump, a quadruple salcow, uh, what a pity. If he had made that, it would have overcome the, the other axle problem without any doubt. But two falls on two major jumps are devastating. Now he has to regroup because remember, not only medals on the line here, but spots on the world championship team that will go to Helsinki, Finland. Three spots available for the men. This and program by Alexander Julin. And regrouping is right. He does have to regroup because the exhaustion and the addition of the exhaustion that that adds to take two big falls like that, it, it just cuts your momentum and you have to start from scratch again. He has another triple axle planned right here. That was a very nice triple axle. That was a beauty. That's a testament to his competitiveness. Triple Lutz jump. Straight line footwork. He's very quick. a triple loop and you can see how easy those triples are for him at the end of the program he looks like he's still pretty fresh combination spin an okay spin not a great one but that's a nice back cross foot if you could only get him to stand up straighter, stretch out more, I think he'd be more adept at doing this kind of a program with this kind of character skating. Now he has a triple sow double toe planned here, and I'm wondering if he might add the triple toe that he didn't, wasn't able to do. Nope. 
Let's see. No, he didn't do that at the beginning of the program, so he was allowed to add that. Sit spin. Good center. Well, that's a disappointment for him. The things that he does so well were the things he couldn't do today. And there still has not been a quad jump at the U.S. Nationals, a successful one at least. We're back with his marks in a moment. Timothy Gable sitting next to his coach, Carol Heiss Jenkins, the 1960 Olympic champion. And look at this slow motion, first of his triple axle. Now, watch the way he drops down into this forward edge and steps right up into it, but doesn't make the full revolution and therefore blows it. And on this quadruple Salkow, he had all the revolution right there, but he wasn't fully turned. Good, tight revolution, but he didn't make it fully. And as a result, he couldn't hold the landing. Now the question is, can Timothy Gable hold on to second place and the silver medal, or at least stand on the podium? The first set of marks. Well, those are very good marks for his technical merit. I've got it tell you that you know that is not a uh, that is nothing to be ashamed of and the presentation marks and Timothy Gable will stand on the podium he ends up in third place you see the judges placements a few fours and some threes and <laughs> the 18 year old from Rolling Meadows Illinois just finding out that he will wear the bronze medal I tell you I think he barely made that you know, yeah, but what the, the margin doesn't count. There you go. Michael Weiss on top. He wins his first U.S. gold medal. But that man right there.